Okay. Gas laws. New topic, new chapter, new packet, new unit, all that good stuff. So, you know, page one. Uh, you know, when we talk about gas, I will tell you, first of all, gas laws is, is an easy unit, okay? Lots of basic algebra in it. So one of the first things you're going to see with gas laws is you're going to see this thing called STP. Now, what does STP stand for? It means standard temperature and pressure. So standard temperature and pressure. Now, does that mean we never use anything else? No, but here they are. The standard temperature, because the SI unit is Kelvin, is just that, 273.5. 1.5 Kelvin, or otherwise known as 0 degrees Celsius, right? But this is the unit we're going to use for standard temperatures, 273.15 Kelvin. And the pressure is something called 1.00 atms. Now this is kind of arbitrary, right? I'm just giving three significant figures, 1.00. It could be as many as you, or as little as you want it to be, but I just chose three, okay? So the first thing you see on page one as you see, we need to be able to, therefore, do temperature converting. Well, this is not a new topic to you. We've done temperature conversion before. We did it in our measurement unit way back in, you know, October. It might have even been September. So, let's remind ourselves of a few equations, though. Degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths degrees C plus 32. There's your first equation. The second one, degrees Celsius is 5 ninths times. You must put this in parentheses, degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. And then the last one is this, Kelvin equals 273.15 plus degrees Celsius. Let's note a couple of things. Degree symbols for Fahrenheit and Celsius, not for Kelvin, okay? And again, these are just the basic conversions. So, question number one says to express normal body temperature, 98.6 degrees in Celsius and in Kelvin. So I'll do the first one with you. So I'll do this one with you entirely. So it says you want to know the degree Celsius, and that is equal to 5 ninths times... 98.6 minus 32. Now what I said was this for significant figures. I started with three significant figures and 98.6, so why not answer this with three significant figures? So you do the math on it and you get 37.0 degrees Celsius. So there's your first answer. But it also wants to know what this is in Kelvin. So K equals 273.15 plus 37.0 degrees Celsius, right? Now, on this one, if we did hardcore significant figures, hardcore, the answer would be uh, 303.2. I would take either answer here. 303.15, and the label of Kelvin is fine. If you label, if you rounded it to 0.2, because of this tense place and its addition, I would have been cool with that too. But 303.15, so you have two answers, here and here, okay? Let's do a pressure conversion now. So you'll also see on this page a number of pressure conversions. And what are they using as the standard pressure? It's using ATMs. Why? Because in STP, standard pressure is 1.00 atms. So you see a chart here that has all these different things, like 760 torr is equal to 1.00 atms, millimeters of mercury, pounds per square inch, or PSIs, bars and kilopascals. You'll see PSIs quite a bit. Actually, you'll see a couple of these. PSIs, if you have a, um, a, a an air how the things, you know, you blow up your tire, air compressor. So if you have an air compressor, that'll measure the amount of pressure in the air compressor, the chamber, in PSI, pounds per square inch. But if you read, or if you watch the news, right, they'll say today's barometric pressure was 29.97 millimeters of mercury, right? 
Well, that's because we measure it as millimeters of mercury often. And like I said, we also have tors and then this atmospheres thing. So number one down below says this. 810 decimal place millimeters of mercury. And again, I put the decimal here because I wanted you to establish three specific figures. And that is equal to how many ATMs? Well, when I do this, what I do is I say, I'm going to do dimensional analysis. So I say, okay, 810 decimal place millimeters of mercury. And then I come up with a conversion factor right here that compares millimeters of mercury to ATMs, which is what I want to know. I go find it on this little chart, and it says that there are 760 millimeters of mercury in one ATM. So 760 millimeters of mercury in 1.00 ATMs. Okay, let's get rid of these, the box, just so that it doesn't, oh, just so it cleans it up a little bit. So you take 810 to multiply, oh, that cancels, that cancels the ATMs, right? 810 times 1 is 810, divided by 760, three standard figures, therefore the answer is 1.07 AT. And that is STP, temperature conversion, and pressure conversion. I would like you to do the rest of this page.